it's Shandy from ExpressionFiberArts.com. Today I thought I would show you how to Navajo ply on a spinning wheel, also called chain plying. To get started, we're going to attach our single to our leader. Create a slip knot with your single and feed that through a loop on your leader. Now what we're going to do is basically create a gigantic crochet chain. You pull up a loop through each loop. Reach through your slip knot and pull up another loop through that. Continue to pull back and you see you've created a new loop. Then you're gonna repeat that process over and over and over. Now I'm gonna get my wheel spinning and you wanna make sure that your wheel is spinning in the opposite direction that you spun your single. My right hand is pulling up each new loop through the old loop. My left hand is sliding and holding all those strands together, pinching, and moving forward, sliding down, pinching and moving forward. That helps to create a nice smooth look. Whenever your bobbin starts to fill up, just move your yarn over a hook. You might be wondering as you come to the little joins if you're gonna get a lumpy, and I haven't found that to be a problem, especially on thinner yarns, but if you like, you can just, with your left hand, give that area a little smoosh smoosh to help blend those together a little better. Another question is, does it matter how big your loops are? And the answer is no. I say do what's comfortable for you. You can do small loops, or you could do big loops. Whatever is most comfortable to you. I really love this plying method because you can create a three ply yarn out of a single bobbin. This method is also great because if you're working with long color gradient roving or hand painted roving and you want to maintain the flow of colors in your yarn strand, this method will do that for you. If you were to ply together two or three strands from separate bobbins, the colors are gonna mix and mingle and you're gonna get some barber pole striping. You can see how this one is starting to look. It's maintaining the flow of colors, which is really cool. And I have this example of some yak silk that I spun up that I wanted to show you so you could see how it looks in a little bit of a thinner yarn. It really is my favorite plying method because it is so fast, it's so simple, it's very rhythmic, and you can maintain the flow of colors and spin a three ply yarn from a single bobbin. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial on how to Navajo ply yarn. I hope it helped you out. If you did like it, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give us a thumbs up. That helps us out a lot. And go ahead and comment below and let me know if you have ever tried spinning and what you thought about it. To stay in touch with all of our latest greatest happenings, please head to expressionfiberarts.com and sign up for email updates. That's the best way to keep in touch with what's going on. I'm going to let you know when we have big monthly yarn giveaways, free knit and crochet patterns, so I don't want you to miss out on that. Now you go, have a great day, do some spinning, do some knitting, crocheting, whatever makes you happy, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.